Absolutely. As dry January comes to a close, we're taking a closer look at alcohol and the growing group of people who are choosing to abstain. Well, today we kick off a series that we are calling Beyond Dry January. As Fox 12 investigates the health risk associated with alcohol and its impact on women. Ezra Kaplan brings us the report. Portland is a city known for its strong connection to alcohol. Just a stone's throw away from wine country, bubbling with breweries, and no shortage of craft cocktail destinations. But public health trends and new research have a lot of people rethinking their relationship with alcohol. For decades, studies have shown that there's no need to worry about a glass of wine a day. That in fact, it was good for your health. But Tom Jean, who's the deputy state health officer in Oregon, says you may want to think again. He explains that many of those studies didn't take into account the increased risks, like cancer, that come with alcohol. You know, increasingly the, the weight of the evidence we're seeing today in the 21st century is that um, there's really no quote-unquote safe level. Last year, the World Health Organization declared that when it comes to alcohol consumption, there is no safe amount. And in Oregon, problematic drinking is on the rise. Statewide data show that more than one in five adults drink excessively, defined as both heavy drinking and binge drinking. For men, that's more than 15 drinks per week, or more than five in one sitting. For women, it's eight drinks per week, or four on one occasion. And excessive alcohol use costs the state $4.8 billion annually. That's a cost shared by Oregonians at about $1,100 per person. But the bottom line is that excessive alcohol use is killing 2,000 people in Oregon every year. That's six deaths every single day, making alcohol the third leading preventable cause of death in Oregon after tobacco and obesity. We actually have a significantly higher number of alcohol-related deaths each year in Oregon than fentanyl, opioids, uh, other drugs. It's a crisis, partially driven by a group that may surprise you. We are seeing a, a huge um, uptick in um, women overdrinking and alcoholism. Carrie Bates works at Hazelden Betty Ford Center, a leader in the world of addiction treatment. She's been sober for 12 years and says that women tend to have a unique experience with their relationship to alcohol. And the thing about women is that it happens to us, it tends to happen a little later in our life. We tend to be a little later bloomers. And then it happens very quickly. We go from um, maybe problem drinking to alcoholic drinking much quicker than men do. Statewide data show that the number of women who report binge drinking nearly doubled from 2001 to 2021. The rate for men stayed steady during that same period. You know, we tend to hide how much we drink because of the shame and guilt that's attached to it. And I think the shame and guilt is worse for women and even worse so for moms. Carrie's own experience getting sober illustrates just how hard it can be to reach out for help when things get bad. At one point, she was truly on top of the world. So I was an Olympic swimmer um, and in 1984 um, at the Olympic Games, I won three gold medals, um, one in the 100 meter freestyle. She says that the very trait that made her an elite athlete nearly killed her in her drinking. So, you know, I think as elite athletes, we have certain mindsets. And one of the, for, for me, that sort of looked like um, don't ask for help. It took multiple rounds of treatment and years of work before she found long-term sobriety. You know, this is the great equalizer, addiction. It's an, it doesn't discriminate against anyone, whether you have three gold medals in the safety deposit box, whether you're a wealthy businessman, you are, are living houseless. This is the great equalizer. With recovery has come a community of like-minded people bound together by alcohol or perhaps the lack thereof. And really that's part of the gift of being in this, in this, um, in this special population is that we get to meet and be with people that we really would not have encountered in our life if we had not chosen to be in recovery. And tomorrow, we take a look at how the service industry is catering to the growing demand for non-alcoholic offerings. But I have to say, I was really surprised by the new science about alcohol. It really is that there is no safe amount. Reporting from studio, Ezra Kaplan, Fox 12 Oregon. Oh. Eye-opening report. Thank you, Ezra.